Well, it sure is hot outside, and looking fresh isn't always the easiest in these summer months. Red Book Beauty editor Victoria Kirby joins us now to give us some tips on how to deal with melty makeup, frizz, and even long hair as temperatures outside heat up. Hi, Victoria. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So first, let's start with the face. Yes. How do us ladies keep this glowing all day long in the summer? Well, you know, Today's a perfect example. It's so hot outside, so most of us want to be wearing less makeup, but we also want to make sure that what we're putting on stays put. So first of all, if you don't want to wear foundation, which a lot of women don't in the summer, take equal drop of your regular face lotion plus a liquid highlighter, mix it together and blend that all over your face, either with a sponge or your fingers, it gives you a kind of a beautiful healthy glow, but you don't feel like you're wearing heavy makeup. And you know, summertime is lip gloss time, but it can really kind of melt down your chin on a hot day. So first take a lip pencil, same color as the gloss, fill in your lips as well as your lip line with the color. That way when the gloss starts to melt off, you'll still have some shade there. Also, take your regular concealer and a little concealer brush, dab it around your lip line, and it'll help the color stay put so it doesn't melt in the heat. Mm -hmm. And what about, you know, keeping the oil down and tame? Is right. there any sort of maybe like, you know, the, anything to blot during the summer that we should be using? Yes. Well, you know, every if you've ever seen those face blotting sheets, they, every woman should have them in their purse. I always have them in my bag. They're not only great for getting rid of a shiny forehead, you just blot on your skin, but when you put on any creamy color, like a cream blush or a cream lipstick, just take the blotting paper, put it on top, press it lightly, and it'll take out the oil, but it'll leave the pigment. So not only will your makeup look more natural, but it'll actually help the color stay put when it's hot out. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, if you're using the same face cream now that you were using in the winter, something heavy, your makeup, you don't need that much moisture right now. It's so warm out, it's humid. Switch to an oil-free, lightweight moisturizer. Of course, make sure to have sunscreen every day, but make sure to choose an SPF 30 broad spectrum, something that's mattifying. So that way, if you put it on and do you wanna put makeup on top of it, it's not gonna melt it off. And speaking to the lotions and sunscreen, should we be using on our, you know, our neck and chest the same thing that we're using on our face? Exactly. You know, the skin on the neck and the upper chest is the thinnest on the body, so it's one of the first places to show signs of aging, but women often forget. They just put sunscreen on their face. So when you're doing it in the morning, just spread it down your neck and to your upper chest. If you're at the beach or the pool, make sure to reapply there. And sunscreen sticks, Neutrogena makes a great one. Make it really easy because you can just, they're totally non-greasy, non-sticky. You can just take the stick, put it on your upper chest. It won't stain your clothes. So it's a great option in the summer to protect that area. Mm -hmm. And so how do we make sure that our concealer lasts? I know you gave us some tips on how to make sure, you know, to reapply yes. the lipstick and make sure that that lasts all day. Oh, right. What about concealer? Yes, I almost forgot about concealer. So no matter how hot is, it is outside, you always want to cover your dark circles. I know I do. So choose a kind of more of a creamy, almost like tacky feeling concealer. Even though you think, oh, it's summer, I'll choose something liquid. It doesn't have much staying power. The ones that are kind of in a pot or in a stick have better staying power. And after you dab it on, take just a little bit of translucent face powder and dab it right on top and it'll set it so it doesn't melt. A lot of women are scared of powder because they think it'll settle into lines. But if you use just a tiny amount with a brush, I promise it won't settle in and it'll help everything last in the heat. Okay, and for yeah. those of us with long hair when yes. it's hot outside, what are some practical and yet stylish tips to stay cool? Right, well, you know, if you wanna just get your long hair back on off your, off your neck and you throw it in a ponytail, it's always a good idea. I mean, there's so many cute hair accessories right now, so you don't need just a plain elastic. They're ones with little jewels on them. MUJ is a great brand that makes them. They're very affordable. And also, when it's hot out, if your bangs are sticking to your forehead, if you've got shorter, more blunt bangs, there's lots of cute bobby pins right now in fun colors. Again, you can get them at Sephora. And stack a few on top of each other when you pull your bangs aside. If you just do two or three, it becomes a little accessory, or you can do them in kind of like a crisscross pattern. And then if you've got longer bangs, you can actually braid them into your hair. Just spritz a little hairspray on, blow your bangs off your face for like 20 seconds. Start kind of like a third of the way in on your hairline and just braid along your hairline, braiding the bangs in. And then when you get to the end, just you have this nice little braid, tuck it behind your ear, pin it. It's such a cute summer look and it just gets them out of the way and you don't have to worry about frizz around your hairline either. Great, Victoria. Well, these tips are definitely useful today considering how hot it is it's outside. It's so hot out, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me.